First Climate has been working at the nexus of climate change and water issues for many years. Mobilizing capital for investment in climate change and water issues has been a major problem for us. We have developed the Water Benefit Certificate mechanism for stakeholders that are looking to invest in water projects globally in a transparent way. The idea behind Water Benefit Certificates is based on the principles of the gold standard. Each water benefit certificate assures that a specific volume of water has been sustainably supplied, purified or conserved by a project activity. One of the demonstration projects that generate water benefit certificates is being developed in rural Uganda. Uganda is a former British colony in East Africa with a population of 35 million people of which 25 million live in rural areas. Access to water is a major issue, especially in the rural parts of the country. Right now, a lion's share of rural Ugandans does not have access to clean and safe water to drink, bathe, to do their dishes and laundry. Often, the same water sources are being shared by people and their animals. The inability to easily access clean and safe water results in a cycle of poverty for most of rural Ugandans. Against this background, First Climate has partnered up with WAVE, based in Uganda's capital Kampala. WAVE is working with the Ugandan government to develop a national safe water security program. The revenues from water benefit certificates shall provide sustainability to WAVE's program in Uganda. So I'm here with Adam Harvey. Adam is the founder and the director of a company called WAVE. WAVE is helping underserved communities in Uganda getting access to safe water sources and even more importantly maintaining that safe access. So Adam, can you tell us a little bit about the water situation in rural Uganda? You can see here uh, an example of an open pond where people normally collect water for use in their homes. Some people have access to pumps, they're often um, some distance away from their houses and they tend to prefer to go short distances to ponds of this kind. So what does WAVE do and actually how are you helping these communities and these people to get access to safe drinking water? We're um, working hard on the coverage, that means we're bringing in more pumps, more hand pumps, roof water harvesting systems that collect rainwater, which is of course useful because it's close to their homes, protected springs and so forth, so that there are more access points. Um, and at the same time, we're making sure that those access points are actually functioning, because one of the reasons why people come to open ponds and, and drink contaminated water is because there are often delays in uh, repair times. There are quite frequent repairs, typically once every three months, there's a few days or a few weeks of um, delay, downtime. Um, so one of the functions of our organization is to develop a preventive maintenance system that means that people will always have access every day to working uh, sources of clean water. The principle of our work is that um, safe water is not only clean water, safe water is also hygienically handled water. We are here at a domestic community. Are you also working outside domestic communities? Yes, we, we consider working schools to be just as much of a priority. The schools have got serious sanitation problems. Girls, for example, coming to school are often dropping out because of lack of latrine facilities. Sanitation and hygiene levels in schools is our priority. Also water supply, reliable water supply in the schools. Talking about the water quality, I mean water quality is key to everything you're doing. Are, are you measuring and are you kind of con continuously measuring this also? Yes, that's a very important part of our strategy. Um, monthly measurements and sometimes twice a month when it's needed, we do quality tests, technical tests in our lab. The reason we do that is because it's really another ingredient of our sustainability strategy. If we know which water sources are providing clean water, that really tells us the most sustainable solution for a particular rural community. We also means that we know which ones need chlorination and we can decide if filtering is the most appropriate technology in that particular community. So the water quality tests are very, very important and provide us with critical information for a long-term sustainability strategy. Money is a, a major concern and is, is lacking everywhere. So 
talking about water benefit certificates, what specifically would you use the water benefit certificates revenues for? Yes, the, the water benefit certificates are really a crucial tool towards sustainability. Um, that needs explaining a little bit, but essentially what they are is a source of income that rewards results. Because the water benefit certificates themselves are based on carefully monitored results, both in hygiene, because of the safeness of the handling of the water being critical, and in the supply of the clean water being reliable. So how many people are you working with at the moment and where are you heading at for, for the next 10 to 15 years? At the moment we're working with about 30,000 people in um, six districts of Uganda in about 110 communities. That number is growing in the course of this year. Our plan over the next four years is to run a pilot for around a million people working closely with the government, planning a, um, a partnership whereby we train up the private sector and the government provides the regulations uh, with a view to a national program for sort of reliable, safe water. Thank you, Adam. Through water benefit certificates, we want to contribute our share to help mitigating the world water crisis. There is so much that needs to be done.